there's one thing I love, it's gimmicky blasters. And this, this is pretty damn gimmicky. This is the Adventure Force Stranger Things Babysitter Baseball Bat. I'm usually a fan of crossover products, especially from Dark Zone, especially when they did such an awesome job with the Jurassic Pro. However, I feel that this blaster, kind of a miss. So the blaster is included with the Bat Blaster itself, exclusive different color tipped waffle head darts, which I'm leaving these in the packet. I am a dart collector. So the blaster is basically pretty simple. You load a dart here in the front, you prime it by pulling it back. We see our catch mechanism there, our trigger there. You take aim and About 80 foot shots, I definitely can't complain about that. The entire bat is this kind of like silicon-ish rubber, which does nothing to absorb any sort of um, impact. The nails as well are also similar material, nice and rubbery, no way to possibly scratch yourself on them. You kind of pull this outer tube back and you'll see the diameter for which the rings are kind of like printed and molded on and then the foam for the bat is kind of put over that. Now, would somebody be upset by that? Because this is a bat. It means that the likelihood of somebody wanting to use this in any sort of Nerf War and or Nerf-ish scenario, possibly HVZ-ish, means that if you were to load it with a dart, take aim and fire, and miss, but then getting rushed upon, instinct might be to whack the person. That ain't what you want to do. Hold on though, according to my analytics, a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. Why don't you leave a like right now, subscribe, and if you don't like the video at the end, then go ahead and unsubscribe. Now I know what you're saying. This is a possibly prop piece, cosplay piece, fun piece. Yes, it is definitely a fun blaster. I love my gimmicky blasters. And if you're just sticking around for this, if you're interested in just the gimmick aesthetic of it, go nuts. I will also say, this is a performance blaster. There's possibly a lot of work we can do in here because this part here is just a plunger tube. The entire blaster itself is possibly in here. I worry that you'd have to destroy it in order to get at the internals. So I'm gonna plink up some waffle tips just so you guys can get a feel more or less of what it's like and uh, how awkward it is to try to aim with a bat, but uh, enjoy. Hey, that was a hit. Almost. That would have been a hit. Close enough. So once again, if you're looking for a fun, gimmicky blaster, this is definitely it. If you're looking for something to be more practical, I would say probably not. I know a bunch of people are probably looking forward to this blaster to use it in HVZ type of events because it just kind of fits that aesthetic. But I worry at the fact that you're making essentially a melee weapon that is not basic contact safe. By basic contact safe, that doesn't mean LARP safe. That means it has to be able to safely basic peg on a person without hurting them. And that's me greatly pulling back. Out of all the groups I've talked to, no one is gonna allow this as a melee weapon, so. All the same guys, I'm bots, still in the middle of moving, wanted to get this video out for you guys. I will say this is a thrifted. Now if you bought it, I will sadly say I do not think this is worth the $20 price tag. Uh, for a gimmicky blaster that is not contact safe at all. Now if you're a fan of Stranger Things, go for it. If you're a fan of fun, quirky, gimmicky blasters like me that just had to have it, go for it. You will have a lot of fun with it. But for a single prime, one shot blaster, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Leave a like down below, comment if you have this bat or you've had different experiences. Uh, maybe your group does allow it as melee, which I uh, I hope you guys have ice packs on hand. Please share this video around as it helps my channel as well as the community in general grow. And I'll see you guys next time on The Battlefield.